Hi, my name is Yaroslava and I learned how to play the guitar in three months. On New Year's Eve, Fender sent me their guitar and challenged me to learn how to play it using the Fender Up Play. It was second or third lockdown here in the UK, I don't really remember, so I thought why not, I've always wanted to learn how to play the guitar. This video is sponsored by Fender. Fender Play App is an online learning platform that allows you to take online video guitar lessons, whatever your capability. You can join today and you'll be surprised just how far you can go in three months' time. It's perfect for an absolute beginner. The lessons are broken up into five levels and also there are a massive library of songs plus some extras like techniques and exercises. So I signed up for a three months trial and I link it for you in the description box as well. I'm a professional piano player, singer and songwriter. I finished musical school, I used to study in musical college. So of course I had solfege lessons or as I call it solfeggio. So I already know all the fundamentals of music, music theory, terms and symbols. So that is why in the beginning of first module it was easy for me and hard at the same time. Because I was challenged to sing and play simultaneously. And it is so difficult, it is so hard. You need time to build muscle memory and you need even more time for your brain to create this kind of connection and consistency is the key here. But the first thing I learned was how to tune my guitar. <laughs> Practice placing chord shapes one finger at a time. I started very slow at first, then gradually increased the tempo. This way I learned all eight fundamental open chords. And when you know them all, you can play almost every song. During the first module I learned how to read chord diagrams and guitar tablature. Also I learned how to strum and some different strumming patterns. One thing I have to mention is that it takes a lot of practice. You have to practice every single day. And although I didn't have any problems with my finger strength, as a piano player I have a very strong hands and fingers. For the first two weeks I wasn't able to play more than 5-10 to 10 minutes a day because it is actually very painful to press down on these thin metal strings. So take it slow, otherwise you won't be able to play at all. My fingertips are so sore. I think I need to take it slow because otherwise I won't be able to play at all. Eventually calluses developed on my fingertips and I was able to play without any pain. Second module covered rhythm reading, which I already knew, so I'd say first two modules were easy for me to pass. And in the end of first month I was able to sing and play All of You by John Legend. So it has been a month since I started to learn how to play guitar and this is my progress so far. What would I do without your smart mouse? Drawing me in and then kicking me out. You've got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride And I am so dizzy to no one hit me But I'll be alright My head is under Moving on to level 3 helped me to understand notes location on the guitar What I mean is that with piano it's much easier Every note is in line From the lowest in pitch on the left to the highest on the right. Guitar notes repeat themselves in different places on the fretboard. That means there are several places where you can find the exact same notes, scales and chords. Although the specific notes to form specific chords are the same for piano and the guitar, position of how to play them differs, so it is very hard to memorize where all the notes are. 
In this module I learn how to play pentatonic scale, also there are lessons about syncopation and I love syncopated rhythm, I always use it when I play piano, so now I was able to do that on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Starting level 4 I was much better with singing and playing at the same time, I stopped making stupid mistakes and I guess it took my brain two months to learn how to multitask. This month was quite challenging for me because I cut my finger badly and I couldn't practice for a week, but by the end of second month I was able to sing and play Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. Two months updates on learning how to play the guitar. I feel like I made a bit of a progress, maybe not as much as in my first months, but still. And now it's more easy for me to play and sing at the same time. I've been watching you for some time. Can't stop staring at those ocean eyes. Burning cities and napalm skies. Fifteen flames inside those ocean eyes. Those ocean eyes, no Level 5, last module, more solfege, palm muting, different chords variations and more songs to play. I learned how to do harmons and pullos and at the end of third month a star was born. Just kidding. I haven't become a professional guitar player but I was able to sing and play shallow and it seems like quite a lot. In terms of finger style it is not the easiest song to play for the beginner. So today I'm gonna film the last song for my challenge, how to learn the guitar in three months. And the problem is that I'm still not very good at Amazon and pull-offs. But yeah, I don't really have much time left. So yeah, let's do it! Tell me something, girl Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something that you're searching for? I'm falling In all the good times I find myself for a change And all the bad times I fear myself Tell me something, boy Are you tired trying to feel my strumming technique is okay, I guess. I know all the names of the notes on a lower E string. I have no problem with timing, I stay on a beat. I know the basics of music theory and I know how to read music, but I'm still bad with fundamental bar chords and power chords. But knowing how to play piano definitely helped me a lot on this journey. Also in this module, I was introduced to this tool. They call it capo. Capo from Italian means Hat. So it is a device that clamps down across the fingerboard at a particular fret on the guitar. It shortens the length of all the guitar strings and it allows you to play a song in different keys. It is an amazing tool for changing keys to suit your voice. 
So this is G chord without capo. And this is G chord with a capo on the third fret. For example, this song I'm about to play is a little bit low for me, so I can make it higher by using this capo. If you're a woman who wants to sing and play songs originally sung by men, capo is great. You can't do it with pianoforte. You have to change the key, change the chords, shift it up or down. Basically, you have to transpose. With the guitar, it's as easy as that. Waking up to kiss you and nobody's there The smell of your perfume still stuck in the air It's hard Yesterday I thought I saw your shadow running round It's funny how things never change in this old town So far from the stars and I want to tell you everything The words I've never got to say the first time round And I remember everything From when we were the children playing in this background Wish I was there with you now If the whole world was watching I'd still dance with you Drive highways and byways to be there with you over and over the only truth Everything comes back to you mm -hmm. Well, I can't believe that this is actually the end of my 3 months challenge And I'm so grateful for this opportunity Again, I want to say a huge thank you to Fenza who challenged me to learn how to play the guitar and if I could do it, you can do it too. I love strumming but I'm more into finger style, I guess because I'm a piano player. So I will continue to learn and play and I'm looking forward to sharing with you more on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video and good luck. Bye!